Alright, welcome everyone, uh, by Popular Demand, I'm making another video on how to create any IRR you want. Uh, usually when I crank them out, they turn out to be pretty good quality, so I'm gonna show you the extent of my knowledge with, uh, IR Create. So, uh, first thing you wanna do is, um, get some isolated guitar tracks in front of you. Um, if you don't have them, this is the Guitar Hero files that I managed to get my hands on. Um, if you don't have any isolated tracks or don't know where to find them, I'll show you how to isolate guitar tracks from any song you want so you can make your IRs. So the first thing you want to do is just pick out a random song. Um, I'm just going to look for some I haven't done already. I'll do this one. So this is the guitar track from the Guitar Hero Files. Uh, Memory of Marines by Metallica. So first thing you want to do is select a time selection and trim items to selected area so now you have just this selected area right here and if you zoom in look at the top corner of your track and just kind of swipe to the right and back here as well this eliminates the fade in and fade out feature that um, automatically is inputted onto your di signal track um, next thing you want to do, right click, go to item properties, and cut the track down to 10 seconds. Once it's cut down to 10 seconds, you can render your file. I'll do memory. And I've already done this a billion times, so I have a selected file path here. Choose your file path that you want to put the render into, and make sure your format is WAVE. You can now render your file. And once you've done rendering your file, you can open up Luxango Deconvolver. Luxango Deconvolver is like the only application I use for uh, IR rendering, and it's a pretty good application. So now we're gonna browse for our render. Once you opened, make sure that you have a test tone generator as well you press this button right here and it'll automatically open up a test tone file make sure your output depth is 24 sample rate is 44 100 your channel is mono and your duration is nine seconds we put this at nine seconds because your selected track render is going to be 10 seconds and the test tone generator needs to be at least a second or two below that in order to render the actual file. So once you're done doing that, generate and select the file path you want your test tone to go to. This is my suite that I already have. I've had this for a while, like I said, so I already had this imported. And once you've done putting your IR render into this, you can press process and you can close out. Now, once you press process, enter in a new track, you can insert that. Or when you're looking for your IR render, make sure you're looking for render DC dot wave. This file will be uh, drastically smaller, and you're just going to do the same thing that you did to the original IR file. Just eliminate the fade in and fade out feature. And again, go back to item properties, and this time, you're going to select the time file to 0.007 seconds. Now the file is going to be super short, and when you click on it, you're not going to hear anything but a tiny little clip. Now this is just the uh, IR render, and that's the actual tone frequency that Voxango Deconvolver processes. So once you're done selecting the time space on that file, you can render again and this is going to be your actual IR file and again you're going to keep it as a WAV file and if you have a different path for all your IRs you can go ahead and select that and render your file now once you're done rendering you can put in your new track with all your VSTs in it open your impulse response loader look for that IR And if you check out my original video on my channel on how to create your tones, 
you'll see all my settings to my preference that I select on my IR loader in order to actually uh, process that tone through your impulse response. And there you have it guys. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys how to create an IR without isolated track files. So the first thing you want to do is select whatever song you want to create that IR from. In this case, I have the song Damage Inc. right here. Now, Damage Inc. is a IR that not many people come across and um, it's there's actually no isolated track files for this. So I'm going to teach you how to export the guitar track from any song and create an IR from it. So the first thing you want to do is click on the link of the YouTube video, copy and paste just by clicking Control C. And over on a new tab, you can open up this website. All the links to all the tools I use to create my IRs will be in the link in the description. So next you want to do is go up to the side and open up this 4k video downloader application now at the top left you can go ahead and press paste link from the video that you copied once it's copied the link you can go ahead and extract at normal quality keep the format at mp3 by the way okay once it's done downloading you can go ahead and exit out of this application and come back to this site right here so I'll leave a link for this in the description just add your audio file okay now that you found the file select it and open it and down here at the separation type you're always going to want to choose the MOOCs 3 model B this keep the output file as mp3 and separate and here you have it all the files separated now usually the guitar track will lie under the other tab so you can go ahead and download this now once you've done that you can go back into reaper and import the guitar track as a new layer i'll now just select the time slot where you can hear the guitars clearly trim items to selected area and again item properties select the duration to 10 seconds eliminate the fade in and fade out feature on the track and render again keep the format to away file now we can open up voxango deconvolver again and select our IR render. Process. Go ahead and insert a new track and insert that DC wave file. Eliminate the fade in and fade out feature. Go back to item properties and select the duration for 0 0.007 seconds go ahead and render again select the file path of your irs and there you have it in this video i tell you guys how to separate the file path for just the guitars and how to create an ir from it so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope this helps a lot and stay tuned for the next video